At the very start of this video, we said that a vector was made up of two quantities. It had a magnitude and a direction. And we talked a lot about, so far, the magnitude of a vector. Uh, now we need to talk about the direction of a vector. How can you find the direction angle theta that a vector makes um, with the x-axis? And we'll also go ahead and, and maybe start this off by maybe defining a vector in terms of the two quantities that every vector has, its magnitude and its direction. So let's just start with this picture here, and I'm going to add a little bit to it. Uh, let's say this vector um, v ends at the point a, b, so that vector v in component form is a, b. Okay. Now, adding to this picture just a little bit, let's um, let's do this. Let's Cross and up, kind of construct a triangle here. We're used to dealing with angles inside a triangle, so let's go ahead and build a triangle so it looks a little more familiar. Um, on this triangle, uh, the vertical distance is B, the horizontal distance here is A, so we're going A, B to get to the point A, B. Um, I can write, let me kind of explain these here uh, so you know kind of where they came from. Uh, we could write that the cosine of angle theta is equal to the adjacent edge divided by the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse itself is the vector and it's not divided by the hypotenuse, it technically it's divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The length of the hypotenuse is the magnitude of the vector. So therefore A is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of theta. All I did was multiply the magnitude across. Now likewise we can do a similar thing. I could say that the sine of theta is equal to its opposite length divided by its hypotenuse length which is magnitude of the vector. So B equals the magnitude of the vector times sine of theta. Same two things that you see here and here, only I couldn't find a picture that used the two lines around the vector. Um, so absolute value bars here, it's indicating the same thing, magnitude of the vector. Well, so let's look at this up here. Okay, instead of defining a vector in terms of its endpoint, where it ended up at the point A, B, we can define a vector in terms of its uh, magnitude and its direction angle. You know, the exact two things that every vector has. Uh, so we can rewrite vector V this way. A is replaced with this. And then the B is replaced with this. So sometimes you see it like this. Oftentimes you will see it re-expressed this way since the magnitude is kind of like a, a common factor. You see sometimes the magnitude of the vector times cosine theta sine theta. So now we have a vector defined in terms of its magnitude and its direction angle. And that's sometimes very useful, especially in the application problems, because oftentimes in the applications you're going to be told that a vector makes a specific uh, angle, has a specific direction, and so you have to you have to be able to, to know this form oftentimes so you can get to this form if you need it. Um, now let's talk a little more specifically about the direction of a vector. And in order to do that, I'm going to go off of the triangle right here. So the direction of a vector. So we're going back to this kind of AB component form. Uh, it is true in this triangle that the tangent of the angle is equal to its opposite divided by its adjacent. So that theta is equal to tan inverse B divided by A. So if we need to find uh, what is the direction angle of a vector, we can do it this way with a tan inverse setup. 
of always going the opposite over the adjacent or always which will be the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. Example says find the magnitude and direction of the vector. So the magnitude of the director Example says find the magnitude and direction of the vector. So the magnitude of the vector would be the square root of negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. So that is the square root of 1 plus 4 square root of 5. That's my magnitude. The direction angle theta is equal to tan inverse. Okay, so the formula from the last slide, you want the b divided by the a, and it's always b and a, or y and x. So it's tan inverse of 2 divided by negative 1. Now if that is not a value that comes off your unit circle, and it quite often is the case that it will not, well we can use the calculator to do that, and we should. So tan inverse 2 divided by negative 1. So the direction angle of the vector is negative 63.4 degrees. Um, now that's all fine and well, except we always want the angles to be reported as positive angles. So let's just take a look at this real quick where this is. Negative 1. Oops. negative one two um, and my graph's not going to do that justice you know, let's do it up here negative one two so this vector is right there now my calculator and, and let's add one more thing here the angle that I want, theta, is that angle. The calculator did not give me that angle. The calculator gave me this angle. It gave me negative 63.4 degrees. Well, a picture can kind of answer exactly what to do with that number. Um, the angle that I want and the angle that the calculator gave me, notice that they are supplementary angles. They add to 180 degrees. So to, to find the angle that I actually want, I need to add 180 to that. And if I add 180 to that, we get 116.6 degrees. Okay, next example, we see our first example of a vector given in linear combinations form. If you don't like this form, just rewrite it to be 3, negative 4. It's the same numbers, 3 and negative 4, so all the, the same work's going to come out, really. So whether you, you see it one way or the other, it's not going to matter. Uh, so the magnitude of this vector, the magnitude of 3i minus 4j square root of 3 squared and negative 4 squared. You just drop the i's and j's. Um, so this is 9 plus 16 which comes out to 5. We all recognize the 3, 4, 5 triangle. So no big deal there. Now the direction angle theta so we want tan inverse of the y over the x, the b over the a. So we want tan inverse, negative 4 divided by 3. We get negative 53.1. Okay, well now we should check a graph, whether it be a mental check, um, we should check a graph and see if this number we have makes sense to the actual problem. Okay, so our vector 3, negative 4 goes this direction to 3, negative 4.
the angle that we want is this angle. We want the positive angle made with the x-axis. Um, the angle that we got was that angle. Okay. So here we have what we want and what the calculator gave us. So to adjust what the calculator gave us to what we want, notice that these two angles, what we want and what we're given, form a full circle. We'll just add 360 degrees to that. And if we add 360, we get 306.9 degrees.